Canva code is a super helpful tool for educators. But did you know your students can also access it? There are so many ways they can use it to take ownership of their learning. You know, back when I was an educator, coding was a really complicated and difficult thing to teach. With Canva code, it's as easy as prompt, generate and refine. Let's have a look at three easy projects you can do with your students in less than 10 minutes. Quizzes and assessments are part of learning, no matter the age of your students. Flashcards are a great way to help students review their work outside the classroom. They can even get their friends or families involved. Helping them create a flashcard widget with Canva code is a super engaging, gamified way to practice their learning. Plus, it's portable and easy to access. Let's craft one together. First, I'm going to open Canva code and type in my prompt. This is always the most important part when it comes to working with AI. But the best thing is, we can keep refining it until it's perfect. Now this is a prompt I've tried and tested previously. This is where you, or your student, insert what they're learning about. Now watch this, I'm going to let my voice do the work. Watch as I click the microphone and Canva code transcribes what I say in real time. Create a digital flashcard game with points and characters for a grade six student. The flashcard should cover the human body, including all bones and muscles. They should be interactive with points awarded for correct answers and fun characters to keep the students engaged. Canva Co can take anywhere between one to five minutes. So go grab yourself a snack and come back to a fully formed widget. Whoa, how awesome is this? I know my students are going to love using this widget to practice their learning. And even better, it'll feel like they're actually playing a game. As always, encourage your students to test out their creations, refine them, and even share them with each other. Did you know some studies have shown that gamifying student tasks can boost engagement and improve overall performance? Now who doesn't love a game show? Let's create one together using Canva code. I'll navigate to Canva code and type in my prompt. My class used to love learning about different types of poetry, so we'll use that as an example. Hmm, you know, I'd really like to make sure everyone in my class can access this work. Let's add to our prompt something about difficulty for all learners. You can see Canva code working hard to create the perfect game show for us. Here it is, our very own customized game show for grade six students. Let's try it out. Whoa, this is so interactive. I can see when I click buttons or hover over this, different things change. I know my students would really love to learn with this. And the best part is it won't actually feel like learning. What a great game show. Canva code is a great resource for students to use for learning, practicing, and even reviewing. But it can also create tools that empower students to teach each other. Let's create a tool so students can share their new knowledge with younger peers. After all, teaching someone else a newly learned concept is an excellent way to learn the content yourself. And believe me, I can speak from experience. Open Canva code and get ready to enter your prompt. This is going to require your students to have 10 to 12 learnings or facts ready to use. To start it off, type in what you want it to do. Then ask your students to add their facts below the prompt. Let's say my class has learnt about elephants. Ask them to add in the 10 facts to their prompt. This activity is great for your students to create themselves. Then they can pair up with another student, maybe a younger student and play the game together. It's a fantastic learning opportunity for your students to demonstrate and share their knowledge or correct younger students' misconceptions about a specific topic. Voila, a super easy to use widget that has three different games for teaching younger students. Canva code, you've done it again.
We can't wait to see what you create with your class.